guys, we're Dan and Michelle with Honeymoon Always. We have landed in the Bahamas on our ultimate Caribbean honeymoon tour. And today we are staying at the Grand Hyatt Bahamar. Now, I'll be honest, we were not planning to make a video about this resort because it's not an all-inclusive and we had other resorts nearby that we wanted to go check out. But once we got here, we were blown away. This place is really cool. So first we checked in, it was like six o'clock. We've been traveling all day and we were tired. So we arrived after a long day of traveling and we're super impressed when we saw our room. We love a good view and a good bathtub. So this definitely fit the bill. After checking in, it was time to get food. Now we have been staying at all-inclusive resorts for several weeks, but this was the first time we had to pay for our meal in a while. <laughs> so we made our way downstairs for dinner and had some amazing Asian food. Like seriously, it was really good. We loved it. While sitting at dinner, we kind of looked at the pricing to kind of compare it to an all-inclusive resort. And I think this is on track with the price at the places we've been staying at when you include the meals. The difference is you're not like eating everything because it's all-inclusive. You're ordering what you're gonna eat. Yeah. Some pot stickers, they look so freaking good. This is drunken noodles. Okay, Dan, go for it. Oh, now people are gonna judge my chopsticks. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Sometimes you order appetizers to share and they give you five. It's like they want you to fight, especially when this good. <laughs> what do you think? Good? Oh, good. We also felt like the the service was really good and the quality of the food was was better because people are basically choosing with their dollars as compared to an all-inclusive where it's all included and there's not as high of an incentive to kind of pull out all the stops. So a little bit of quality over quantity, I would yes, say. Yes, definitely. This morning when we ventured out for breakfast, we went to a French bakery, which was recommended by Top Flight Family in their video about this resort. So if you haven't seen that, you should go check that out. Um, but it was actually really good. We split a breakfast bagel and then we split a blueberry cream cheese Danish and it was so good. We had a really good time. And now that we are fed, ready to go, it's time to check out some water slides. <laughs> Let's go. We just went on a bunch of water slides. We meant to bring our GoPro and our like plastic cover for these cameras, but we didn't. So we're gonna go back to the room um, so we can take you along with us on the rides. They're awesome. Oh.
other thing is, so we're here in early October. I think kids might just be in school. There's like not that many people here. So there is no competition for the flow rider for Dan, which yeah, is Yeah, I got like five people in front of me in line and that's it. But then all the other ride at water slides are no weight at all. As fast as you can make it up those stairs, you can go down that slide. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are getting old. So those stairs are hard, but we're gonna do it. Also, I lost some of my sense of adventure. So oh my like gosh. I got up to the top and the scariest one, I was like, I can't do it right now. So I'm gonna go back. <laughs> But I couldn't do it. It's not called the devil's butthole, but that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay. He didn't make it down the devil's butthole, but he says he's going to. Yes, and I did make it down the cyclone rush. <laughs> and you bet it was a rush. <laughs> <laughs> how much we paid to stay here. For two nights, it came to $750 just for the room, the resort fee, and a service charge. And that was for the lowest level room that they have, and it was a great room. It just didn't have the perfect view, and it wasn't more than one bedroom. So really a great option, and I find that to be affordable for Bahamas. Beyond that, we spent about $300 on food. Michelle and I, we, we like to share our food because we don't want to eat two American portion sizes in one meal, it's just too much food for us. So we had like a lunch where we shared a Caribbean bowl and it made, instead of two heavy lunches, it made two light lunches for us. Um, we also had ice cream one time, which it was like $10 for a bowl with two scoops. Dinner was the most expensive where we had guacamole as an appetizer and then two entrees and it came to $120. So it is more expensive than what we used to pay at restaurants, but we live in Portugal. I don't even know how much things cost anymore in the US, but I know that is pretty expensive, but still much more affordable than the all-inclusives we've been staying at. So it is resort pricing. It is more expensive than your average restaurant at home, which I would I'll call Austin home for now. But you kind of know that that's what you're gonna pay. And you know, we've just been saying all inclusives where it's much more expensive, but you just don't have to worry about charging things to your room all the time. So all in all, I think it's a, a good value here. anywhere my cash to just scan my thing and then they charge me money it's like it's fake <laughs> Wonderful, 10 out of 10. <laughs> we really did have a good time. We did learn that it's about 40% capacity right now. We're here the first week of October. So I think that played a lot into it because we were able to get right onto the water slides and had no issues getting food. Food quality wise, I thought everything was good. I've, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, but I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was really great. And then I asked our, our waiter, I was like, okay, there's no way, there's nobody here. Is this normal? And he was like, no. If you come like during the holidays or during spring break, like it is packed, there might be a 30 minute wait to an hour just to get lunch. So we killed it. It was just yeah. so good. No waits. Had it such a fun. fun time. Yeah. So if you have any questions about this resort or any of the other resorts we have visited on our Ultimate Caribbean Honeymoon Tour, we will leave links in the description of the video below. And we hope you will like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always.